What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be looking at common chord progressions. Now, two major, major key VSTs that I think Hexachords Orb has common chord progressions and Scalar 2.4 has common chord progressions. So we're going to look at those two and see if they match up and then we'll, we'll cook up something but before we get into that make sure you hit that like and subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get any video upload to the channel you know we always go live we do beat critiques live you can just showcase your your beats or your instrumentals and also you can follow me on hollywoodfloss.beatstars.com you can get merchandise and buy beats from there so make sure you do that all right so we're gonna get right into it we're not gonna waste any time now as you know scalar 2.4 did a major update and when they did the update they added in this you go to common chord progressions and let's see if their common chord progressions match up to hexachord orbs chord progression now the first one says one two three four five so just going in that order okay that's pretty simple that's kind of you know And it would be under playful, but we're going to all. Oh, I don't see a one, two, three, four, five. Now this has a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This has a lot, but this one was more playful, so maybe it'll be under excited. Just a regular one, two, three, four, five. So no, it does not have that. So that is interesting that they're taking two different approaches. Let's let's try to find one where it says the same thing. Uh, happy one four two five so let's look for happy which is excited so we got one five one three now let's look how this how this sounds the one five one three okay so that's their happy and then they have a one three four six I definitely get a happy feel out of that one. There's this one right here, that one, three, four, five. So let's see if they have happy. They have a one, four. So all of theirs is going to start with, with one, four. So let's see what we can. Which one sounds more happier to you? Maybe it's because. I like how you can preview it on hexachord or okay I want it to be on regular I don't want any advantages I I do notice that they go right to C major on this one So let's use this one. All right, we're gonna go right into that one. We're in C minor, let's turn it to major. Happy or excited, I guess. Yeah, they got a beat on that one. They got them beat, I'm not gonna lie on that one. Common chord progression, let's see if we can find any other ones, jazz. Okay. Do they have anything melancholy? That would be, or is it classical? Jazz would be more melancholy. We're going with the the two, five. Okay, we have something close. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll go. It looks like as far as chord progressions, I might have to stick with the hexachords. I mean, I'll still fool around with scalar 2.4, but it looks like the hexachord wins. So we're going to cook up something quick. As you know, we'll use purity and we'll use like some regular uh, keys or something like that. And we're going to say, okay. C major so we're gonna move this over and if you don't know after you get your chords you go straight into your melody and it already locks in your melody for you 
okay so we're gonna get another instance of purity and we're gonna move I'm not gonna change anything I'm just gonna use everything right off the key I'm not gonna change anything just to see what happens and also when you do that you're gonna add another instance of purity but this time I'm gonna add the ARP that comes with it and then I'm gonna go to this purity make sure I pull up a preset ARP let's see or space harp that sounds cool and we're gonna like I said, I'm not gonna change anything we're just gonna give exactly what hexachord is giving me to see what we come up with oh that's the melody one let's go to the arp one okay so right now we got chords a melody an arp and then we're gonna get the last thing that hexachord comes with that locks in that gives you exactly the same chord progression and same key we're in C major, we're gonna to go to the orb bass. So this is the bass line that they gave me right away, and I'll get a bass from Purity as well. So we'll go to presets, bass guitar, and then we'll just use like a uh, filter slap or something, or FM bass guitar. And we're gonna move that over. All right, so let's gather all of this together. And add purity as well and let's see what we have so far cross our fingers that we got something manageable <laughs> okay okay not bad not bad we're gonna go to our helpers make sure everything is in C major okay everything is checking out so far now we're gonna use I'm gonna use some MIDI I'm going to use a, a drum MIDI pack to add a, some slight drums to it, and then we're going to be out of here, y'all. Um, just want to check out the common chord progression. If you have a favorite chord progression that you like to use, one, four, six, seven, or something like that, comment below what's your favorite. What's your favorite chord progression, all right? And I'm going to go ahead, and this is why I love MIDI so much. Just have you some common MIDI, see if it'll go together, and... Um, make something out of it so we already have the base so we don't need that only thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and uh, highlight this and that should cover the beat let's see how it cross your finger again let's see how it turns out <laughs> Let's loop it right here. So once again, it's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Like I said, I don't do any of this. This is all AI. I'm the worst. Um, leave your comments below on your favorite chord progression and if you think on your favorite common chord progression that you always use and if you think that hexachords and scalar 2 work well together or should they always just be competing? Peace.